It's designed to study cosmic transients. So these are objects that appear suddenly on the sky. So you don't know where they're going to appear or when they're going to appear. So you need a robotic spacecraft to do that. So a spacecraft that can think for itself. So SWARM has instruments on board to find objects, principally what we call gamma ray bursts. These are the most powerful events in terms of light that we know of in the universe. They produce as much light as a million galaxies of stars at their brightest and then they fade very quickly. So you need a mission that can find them, that can repoint very quickly to study them in detail with other instruments and then send all that information to the ground. Leicester were contracted to produce the optic for the instrument, the Micropore X-ray Telescope. And we were instructed to both design, model, test, and then build the optic, but the optic only. So we were using harnesses and interfaces onto the telescope tube that were provided by the French Space Agency. The optics on the MXT instrument are very special. They are called a lobster eye optic, which is where we have individual X-ray optics tessellated onto a curved frame. And then they work together to create a larger field of view. And this is very similar to instruments that we've made for other missions, such as the MIX instrument on Bepi Colombo. Basically, when SWAM detects a burst, it detects it with either with the CLAIRS and GRM, those two instruments, and it will basically send a signal down to Earth telling us that we've it's detected a burst. We'll then salute a point at the burst, and we'll have a telecon to discuss the initial data, so the data from the CLAIRS, but also from the MXT. 
the Microchannel X-ray Telescope. The BA's role is to coordinate the follow-up, keep track of all the data that SWOM takes. So obviously as well as building the instrument, we'd like to do the science. So we've spent several decades now studying these objects using SWIFT and other facilities. So we have two objectives. One is to help the mission to do its job. So we'll have people on duty 24-7 across the world. Because these objects appear suddenly, we need to have people on call effectively. But the areas we want to study in particular, we want to take advantage of SVOM flying alongside SWIFT, along with James Webb Space Telescope, which we're also involved in, to study distant GRB, study the early universe, and to study the sources of gravitational waves. So that's the science we hope to do over the next few years.